Hold on, I know what you're thinking. This is some janky solution with lots of lag, lots of wires, and lots of hacking. No. Watch to the end to find out how you too can have the cleanest setup without sacrificing horsepower. The beautiful aesthetics of Apple's clean design paired with workhorse gaming or workstation power, all without wires, noise, or heat, poisoning your utopian workspace. There's actually a number of ways to tackle this project. The best solution really depends on your hardware and configuration. I get so many questions about this, so let's talk about Target Display first. Target Display is a feature Apple baked into 2009 to 2014 iMacs as a way of using them as an external monitor. Because the feature is software driven, it only works if the operating system boots. So if you have a failed GPU or broken operating system, you won't be able to use this feature despite the screen portion of your iMac working fine. Side note, people have reported that even with a bad GPU, they're able to use this feature if they can boot their system into safe mode. It's important to know that Apple has made some major changes to target display over its lifespan. The 2009 and 2010 models are ideal for this since they are using a standard DisplayPort signal. This means that it's possible to connect virtually any other Mac, PC, or game console so long as it outputs a DisplayPort signal. No, it will not work with an HDMI to DisplayPort adapter. The video source must be a DisplayPort signal. Start by connecting the devices, and then hit the Command F2 key to enable the video signal on your iMac. I found this to be incredibly buggy though. It only engaged for me less than 10% of the time and occasionally caused the iMac to lock up when attempting to switch back. This happened regardless of whether connecting to a Mac or PC. Others claim this feature works perfectly, even in Monterey, so it may have something to do with my GPU upgrade, as my Fire Pro 5100 was never officially supported in this Mac or for this feature. As a side note, make sure to check out the video where I do a GPU upgrade on this iMac. For iMacs 2011 to 2014, they use Thunderbolt video instead of DisplayPort. While a Thunderbolt port can output a DisplayPort video signal, 2011 to 2014 iMacs will not accept a DisplayPort signal as a video source. My understanding is that there is large limitations between macOS versions and models of Macs being connected. I don't believe there's any way to connect a PC to any of these newer Macs through Target Display, and my understanding is that it does not work with newer Macs at all, like the M1. I don't have any of these 2011 to 2014 iMacs on hand to test, so I cannot comment as to the specifics of this feature, how it works, and what its actual limitations are. So what about non-iMacs, or iMacs made after 2014? Apple has a solution for that and it's terrible. It's called AirPlay, or screen mirroring. AirPlay is really easy to set up and works all right for mostly static content. Image quality is really good, so no complaints there. But if you want to use your 27 inch iMac as a main display for your new M2 Mac mini, you can forget about it. It's far too laggy for that. The video frame rate is inconsistent and stutters, even when connected via ethernet. So, Apple does not provide a workable solution to reuse most old iMacs as a monitor, despite them still looking great and working perfectly. There are third-party solutions, but they require destroying the iMac and permanently converting it to a monitor, and those require more advanced technical skills. A great option if you have the skills, time, and willing to shell out for the parts. Luke Miani has an excellent video on this conversion. These older iMacs, if upgraded, are still competent web browsing machines, but as all of you know, they're pretty useless for modern gaming or heavier workstation tasks. So we're going to take the much more powerful trash PC I built in a previous video, we're going to use two pieces of free open source software called Sunshine and Moonlight, and we're going to use this Mac as a slick, low latency terminal for our semi-powerful trash-driven workstation PC. That's a mouthful. As a benefit of this solution being network-based, 
we can very easily store the workstation PC in a utility room or somewhere where we won't have to be bothered by the heat and noise. Although you can do this over Wi-Fi, it would be highly recommended, if possible, to have a direct Ethernet connection between the iMac and the PC to ensure the lowest latency, highest bandwidth, and highest video quality. So what is Sunshine? Sunshine is an open source version of NVIDIA's GameStream server, but unlike the official GameStream software, Sunshine works on nearly all modern graphics cards, not just NVIDIA, and works on both Windows and Linux. It can also work on Mac OS too, but the installation is more involved and is currently listed as very experimental. So if you want to use your old 27-inch iMac as a monitor for your new M2 Mac Mini, you might have to stick with something like Parsec, who just recently supported Mac OS hosts. With Sunshine installed, I went into the settings and cranked all the graphics settings to maximum. If you're connecting over Wi-Fi or a shared LAN, this may cause excessive bottlenecks in your network throughput. This is why I'm using a direct connection between the computers. The workstation can get internet via Wi-Fi, or I could install a second network card. Now that the Sunshine server is running on the workstation PC, we can move on to Moonlight, the open source game stream client. There is a Moonlight client for nearly every platform meaning you could actually use your PC from a tablet or even a phone. With Moonlight installed, we have to go through a one-time pairing process to authorize Moonlight to connect to the Sunshine server. With pairing complete, we can now easily launch Moonlight and connect at any time the PC is on. If the PC is configured correctly, Moonlight is even capable of sending a wake on LAN packet if the PC is sleeping. When connecting with the default settings, the image quality is no good for internet browsing or documents. It's pretty fuzzy and hard to read, but with some adjustments, you can almost can't tell it's not running locally. Most notably, I increased the resolution from 720p to 1440p and increased the maximum bandwidth to 90 megabits per second. Again, we're using a dedicated ethernet link, so this shouldn't affect our network throughput. The verdict, excellent. While the results are certainly better using target display, this solution results in being able to run the PC discreetly in another room and is more reliable, at least with my iMac. Moonlight does warn that my GPU does not properly support hardware acceleration, which likely explains the occasional graphical tearing. The tearing does not exist when testing on another Windows PC with a supported GPU, and the image quality is almost imperceptible to running natively. I suspect newer iMacs will probably run pretty near perfect as well. We now have a cool and quiet workspace that looks extremely clean, and we have loads of compute power without shelling out thousands to Apple. There are many variations of this you can try yourself, such as with Steam Link or Parsec. Drop a comment below and let me know what you think, or if you've tried something similar. Remember to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share this video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.